Hello there, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy and this is February release with Zinsky part two. We have did part one in January and this is just a really cool sample I wanted to show you because one of our customers gave us this recently using all of the Zinsky monsters so it's just a nice little lead into the new releases coming up for February 2017. Um, she's created a big watercolour here and stamped all the images and then she's also layered up some on front so that she's created sort of a double up. It's such a cool uh, representation of Eleanor's amazing stamps. But also our our own Lauren Hatwell has created um, a, a, another take on Zinsky and what she has done is created these really cool dimensional um, little critters and um, she's used Eleanor's stamps so what she did was stamp the image and then photocopied it and um, enlarged it and then printed that onto um, a printable canvas so that then she could turn it into um, you know a three-dimensional object so she's got a felt backing um, she's sewn it stuffed it and painted it with fresco paints so there's three here and obviously they are a lot bigger than their stamped counterparts um, this is just people are always asking us about our angel policy and we do permit you to hand stamp items and sell them for small cottage industry but we wouldn't permit you to do any mechanical reproduction and set, sell the end items so it's perfectly acceptable to manipulate your stamps and enlarge them for your own personal use to make something like this but it wouldn't be acceptable to mechanically reproduce the image and sell it for commercial gain so I just wanted to clarify that for you but what a cool project I'm sure that we're going to end up with a whole family of beautiful Zinskis and I've actually asked Lauren if she could make me a whole Christmas tree full of these because I just love them so much. Now, one of the other projects I wanted to show you that also um, summarizes these stamps beautifully this is by Wendy and there's some really great quotes on some of um, Eleanor's new stamp plates and some of the ones that were released in January and look at this so when I grow up I want to be me just taller and then whoops if I can pull it look his legs I need to move the book over a bit there we go so look his legs just get longer and longer and longer isn't that cool and then inside there's this great little book which she's decorated with lots of little Zinsky stamps and what have you. So really cool. All the pages are decorated beautifully. So it's a lovely little, lovely little project as well by Wendy. Well done, Wendy. And then another one. This is a lovely link from the um, original stamps that were released at the end of 2016 into these newer ones. So Lauren's also made this book. And um, on here, she's decorated the pages with quotes, used fresco stamps. She's even got some stencils in there, some of um, Emma's masks, actually. But her trick at the moment is she likes puffing out and shaping the paper and then she puts foam tape behind it so that they're very very dimensional and they almost pop off the pages at you the little spider there this is one of the new stamps but some of the older birds again she's got a lovely mask in the background one of Emma's and look the bat well, that's one of the minis and then that's a Tracy Scott stamp on there so that's a lovely little project as well. But let's move on to what we're here to show you. So new for this month, we have got this fantastic stamp here, which is more of the words. I wanted to show you this first because even though it's stamp set 12, we've got uh, 9, 10 and 11 to show you in a minute. But a lot of the words are being used across all the projects. So it's just nice for you to sort of see what we've got coming up really great humour and fantastic phrases that just fit beautifully with the stamps. So this one, set nine from Eleanor and uh, she's got more flowers. The, each of the flower sets has its own flavour. So this one has, uh, you can see, quite a few little elements on here. 
and I've got another little book here this is another one by Wendy so it's made out sort of like a tag and you can see that she stamped that flower there on the front cover here well actually it's the back cover because when you flip it over this is the front cover she's got a, cl a closure there and so then it's and it, it's got pages inside so nice how the little bird sneaks through there so that's a nice idea and she's used um, the frescoes in the background and here's another card from Wendy. Now this is also very detailed. They've come up with amazing samples to share with you guys. Um, so there's little windows here and she's got little monsters sort of half in and half out of each of those windows. So there's a beautiful background in the back there. And then these are stamps that have already been released. But she's got the new flowers on the front there which is one of the flowers off this set. And you can see there she's popped the quote on the front. And here's a sample by Lauren. Now on this sample you can see that she's taken the flower head from here and turned it in the other way around so that this bit forms the centre and then laid them, stamped them and laid them up. Now she was telling me that one of the things she really likes doing at the moment is um, after she's shaped the paper and so this is all cut out and laid on top and it's all beautifully shaped uh, and she's got um, like foam pads behind it. After she's done that, what she's started becoming addicted to doing is putting layer after layer of the Paper Artsy gloss glaze on top of the paper. And it really makes the colours pop, uh, but she said she also loves it because she starts to get some texture and you start to see the brush strokes in there, uh, which just gives it a little bit more texture and dimension. So if you keep applying layer after layer of the gloss glaze, it just continues to get glossier and glossier, which is really, really pretty. So let's have a look, another look at one of the other stamp sets. This is ZA10. We kind of call this the Dr. Seussie style set because it's got all the striped, looks like striped Dr. Seuss hats, but they tend to use these stamps in weird and wonderful ways. So this here has been turned into an ice cream cone by Wendy. And again, she's got one of the little mini stamps there. And then here's another sample by Wendy Malice. Now, look carefully, and you will see that this flower has been turned into a person. So it's made its own little monster. It, all the detail is there already in the stamps. All she had to do was add the little eyes, but this became the nose, and then we've got a, a nice little, she's added some little stubble onto the chin, because obviously on the stamp here, there is no stubble, <laughs> but she's made it a beardy chin. And then she's put faces on these little guys here. So where the bottoms of the flowers are, creating lovely little faces. How cute is that? I don't know what it is about all of these stamps, but between Lauren, Wendy and Eleanor, they seem to add personality plus to them. So here we go again. This one's got jazz hands, so the little leaves have become hands. And there's a little face on there as well. That's also by Wendy. Now here's one from Lauren and again she has puffed this out so it is very dimensional. Now let's start with the background. So the background here is grunge paste. She has used the Kim Dello stencil that was released last year which is a lovely set of spirals and she's put some Bora Bora paint over the top of it and of course when you sand back you expose the grunge paste. So that's how she's got the background pattern there and then she's stamped and layered up these guys on top but sh this one can you see she's actually cut every single hair on his head out she has fussy cut that with a pair of scissors I have no idea how um, but that is kind of crazy but it's beautiful and he is they're all colored in she often uses pencils coloring in pencils on top of the paint uh, and it just gives that the paint will give that lovely chalky tooth and then she'll use her pencils on top and here's another one. So Lauren's also turned this into a face. So she's added an eye to the stamp, to the flower, um, which is also another stamp already available. And then she's used the little girl here who's got a lovely little double layered skirt so that this is actually puffed up and popped out a little bit. 
Uh, just gorgeous. And she's used her color, coloring and pencils as well around the edges and to soften this. Isn't that clever? She's got a bit of glossy accents on there. And here we have set 11. Each set of these flowers is slightly different and has its own sort of theme. Uh, this one here, I love how f um, Lauren has used the word flowers, which is actually not from this stamp set. It will be from the very first one, which we released earlier. I see it's here. So she used that word over and over to create a background and then applied the flower. She's got lots of layers. So again, the fussy cutting freak that she is, all of these elements are cut out. I know that you guys often are really competent at cutting out, but this is pushing it to the extreme. And <laughs> she's, even on this here, there's little spikes. That, see these little spikes that come out here? She's even cut all those little spikes out as well. But it looks amazing. It's a really cool, cool card. And always, she quite often likes a little bit of stitching on there. So fantastic samples. And then let's finish up with some samples by Eleanor. Uh, Eleanor's started to um, do lots of sort of slightly larger format pieces. Um, and I love the quote on this, whatever it is, I didn't do it. And she always will bring her little birds and other things in. And this is one of the um, minis, mini, I think it's uh, Z ZN08, the little sort of bunny rabbit. And here's another one. So here she'll stamp it all, add colour with watercolours. Um, here she made a background first and then came over the top. But you can see she's brought other of the monsters in from the other stamps, like from set one. Again, here. And then finally, this one here. And I mean, look at this. So she's using the hat. <laughs> we call it the hat now. But it's actually the flower with this. And she's used that there as a ledge for this guy to stand on, this one to lie on. And here, this, she's got little flowers coming in at the side, standing on them. So the details are just phenomenal. You must go and look at the blog post that accompanies this release. There'll be a link to that in the description of the video and all the detail um, of how these samples were made will be there. And there'll also be a list of stockists. These stamps are available now from a Paper Artsy stockist. Go to look at that list and you can find out who's closest to you. See you again next time.